Celtic had won the last five meetings with Kilmarnock, scoring a total of 19 goals. It's into the feet of Eremenko. And now lost one over the top, and Obadai could be in here. Out comes Craig Gordon, who had to be smartly off his line. This is McGuinness now, and he doesn't get his free kick. Well, an opportunity for Kilmarnock. And Obadai, he looked favourite, and he just seemed to pull out at the last minute. Johansson to take the corner, goes near post. Sjepovic with the header, but it was just the side netting. There were a few inside Celtic Park that saw the net ruffle and they thought that Sjepovic had opened the scoring. You can see atrocious conditions in the east end of Glasgow. Matthews on to John Gudetti. Now McGregor. McGregor passes man. And now time to clip one in with the right foot in with Castle. Had a free header, but it was straight into the arms of Conor Brennan. Drive blocked, and this is Eremenko. Smartly done, good strike too. And Craig Gordon had to dive to his left-hand side to make the save. He's certainly moving in the air from Eremenko. Celtic back in control of possession. And it's Brown on to McGregor. Cepovic makes the dart. And it was he pulled down there by Manu Pascali. Across comes Willie Collum with a red card in his hand. And Kilmarnock have lost their captain. And could that be a big turning point in this game? Killy down to ten men. Pascali has gone. Gudetti and Johansson over it. Gudetti certainly looks like he is in the mood for this. Strikes it and finds the back of the net. It's double punishment for Kilmarnock. Pascali, their captain, sent off, and from the resulting free kick, Gudetti makes it 1-0. Only 35 minutes played. It's 5-5 five five for Gudetti. This is Brown. Celtic can actually go above Kilmarnock with a victory today. Shepovic, and now McGregor just took an extra touch. Still dropped for Stefan Shepovic. Mark Connolly was the man on the line. And a good bit of defending. McGregor had the chance to hit it on the left foot, took an extra touch. Eventually it dropped for Shepovic. There was Connolly on the line. Castle, Johansson, he invites Virgil van Dijk forward, Gudetti takes the ball on the turn, and it was a thunderous shot. I think he thought this one was going to hit the back of the net too. Really good late save by Conor Brennan. Matthews, opts for the inside ball to Brown, well, Castle comes short. Laid back to Johansson, Wacasso again. So free with his movement to pick up space. The shot well wide in the end. He feels perhaps it took a deflection on its way through. He wanted a corner out of it. No 45 minutes for Celtic to see this game out. One up, and they have a man advantage. It's going to be tricky for Kilmarnock to get back into it. Celtic did, in fact, lose their last home league game against Hamilton Ackies. They've not lost two in a row in the league for ten years. Barber, now McKenzie to Hamill. That was loose from Jamie Hamill. McGregor, now Stefan Shepovic. Well, what a start it would have been to the second half. Shepovic, who got off the mark for Celtic on Thursday night against Astra in the Europa League. Izagiri advancing down the left. Then Wakaso takes over. Izagiri once again. It's McGregor. Now Gudetti. 
comes back off the post, could still be alive. Adam Matthews, and cleared off the line, Gudetti! Well, he was unlucky with the first effort that came back off the post. The second time, though, you feel he probably should have scored. Goalkeeper was certainly beaten the first time around. Matthews drilled one. Connolly was there, but Gudetti really should have buried that. Matthews to McGregor. Still McGregor. Gudetti now drawing the defenders out from their central positions. And in it comes, and Brennan's lost it. It's McGregor now. Callum McGregor. Well, the cross clips the outside of the post and out for a goal kick. Connor Brennan spared his blushes by McGregor's effort. Van Dyke. Izagiri kept it in and finds Wicasso. And good ball in too for Shepovic at last. Celtic have their second goal. 64 minutes played. Stefan Shepovic has his first league goal for the club. He broke his Celtic duck on Thursday night against Astra. And now he has scored in the Premiership for the first time. No, that's loose from Sammy Klingon. Cepovic and Brennan will get there. Well, now you can see the confidence is starting to flow. He's got a couple of goals. And he went for the spectacular effort. High level of difficulty. Connolly. Now this is Lee Griffiths, a substitute. Gudetti to McGregor. Bombing up on the right-hand side is Adam Matthews. Shot blocked when he had Gudetti and Shepovic inside. Well, great energy at this stage of the game to break all the way up the right-hand side. Poor effort in the end, though, from the Welshman. Towards Obadai, taken on the chest. Time running out for Kilmarnock, that's it, full-time, and Celtic move above their opponents in the league table, just on goal difference. Ronnie Dyla's side are up to fourth position in the table thanks to a 2-0 victory over Kilmarnock. The red card had quite a big bearing on proceedings, but goals from John Gunetti and Stefan Shepovic lead to a 2-0 victory.